Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be reviewing Teresa Lore's brand new Picture Perfect in the color 1B slash burgundy. I saw this style on Taz on, on the Wig Studio One uh, Instagram and I fell in love with it. Then I said, you know what? I just have to order it. Then on our Facebook, page uh wig studio one wig and topper support group one of the members posted her wig from tressa lore in this color in the uh 1b slash burgundy and i thought okay i've got i just have to try that color so i went and i i i went on the wig studio one website and i ordered mine and i cannot tell you how happy i am with it for years, I have worn, well, for the first basically 50 years of my life, my hair was always a dark, almost black. And then the gray started coming in, so I dyed my hair. I, I blended the, and I'll put a picture up here. It was basically purple, but there were times where I had it with the black base and the purple. I think the picture that I have available has more purple in it or maybe it's because of the lights that it's appearing more purple. This one is, if you're familiar with Chocolate Cherry from John Renault or Vogue from Aesthetica, I have reviewed both those colors. Well, this is a combination of Vogue with Chocolate Cherry, but it's on steroids. This is over the top gorgeous. We have a base of 1B, which is a, a softer black or an off black. This color is highly dimensional. I'm not saying the others aren't, but this one just takes it a step further because the highlights are burgundy with some red, with a little bit of purple and a little bit of fuchsia. And I think that when we go outside, you'll be able to really see how dynamic this color is so vibrant and so gorgeous. I am absolutely in love and you know I so many so many of the members ask uh, on the on the wig and topper support group they ask which is the one which is the wig that is the one and my answer is always the one that I'm wearing because I love all my wigs it doesn't matter if they're in my collection, if I have kept them and not sold them, it's because I love them. And the one that I'm wearing is the one that I love. And I say, oh gosh, I love this wig. But ladies, I got to tell you, I absolutely love this one. I love everything about the wig. All right, rambling on. This is a wefted cap. We have a full monofilament top. And the lace front, according to Tressalore, is a sheer comfort mono lace front. This lace front makes it completely undetectable. When I first decided to order this color, I was a bit concerned because, you know, usually with your dark colors, you're going to have those knots that are evident. You don't have it on here. We have some lighter fibers in the burgundy or uh, the red around the front. And that lace front just melts into, into the skin. It, it is unbelievable to me. I don't think I have any dark color where the front, the lace front is as perfect as this one is. And then with our, it has a full mono. So obviously you can um, part it any way you want. And you're going to have that illusion of scalp. Now, something that I saw on the Tressalore YouTube channel, they were saying that they were uh, showing a product that they have. It's called Tress Tech Wig Wax. Mine is on the way. I should have it in a couple of days and I'll let you know how it works. But anyway, on that video, they were talking about how these fibers, the way they are placed. I don't know if this is the same for all wigs. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to give it to the same way that I got it. So what they were saying was that with these fibers, if you take two fingers, you part it, 
where you want it. And then you take two fingers and you rub down. I've never heard this before. Um, and you rub down. The fibers are going to stay. Okay. Well, so let's try it on the other side. Usually we have to train our wigs when we do this. For them, you know, for them to stay. I don't know, that one is not staying. Well, maybe it is. All right, maybe it is. Maybe, it, I haven't tried it with other wigs. Has anybody ever done this before? I haven't. Um, Anyway, it's staying pretty well for a uh, long bob. What we have is a very kind of like a point cut on the bottom. We don't have a straight bob. It's a feathered lob, if you will. I, 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 I love it. I really do because I prefer this type of style. And while it doesn't have face framing layers, I mean, they could be cut in it if you want it. I personally, <laughs> you know, I may be 64, but inside I am still in my 30s. So I am going to wear the color and the style that I want. All right, let's take a look at the ear tabs. The ear tabs come right down to here. So there is absolute really good coverage and the lace front comes down to about here. Here's my hairline which once I get back to Florida, I'll be, um, I've got my black hair dye. I'm leaving in a few days, so it's not worth it to me to order it right now. But once I get to Florida, then I'll be um, matching my hair because I've got a lot of grays to the wig. I really, did I tell you that I really like this? All right, let's talk about a little bit about the permatease. There is no permatease. No, there's not really any permatease. We do have a little bit at the nape. I could feel it, but it's not an awful lot. The density is not a light density. Uh, we have a good amount of hair here. It's, some of us may think it's a lot, and some of us may not think it's a lot. Uh, if you are new, maybe, perhaps for someone who is new to wigs, this will seem as an exuberant amount of hair. For someone who is a seasoned wig wearer and you don't mind a little higher density, I don't think that this will bother you. It is definitely not a light density. I think this has a higher density than some of the others that I have. It's a higher density than Hudson. It's a higher density than, I don't know, what could I, what other one than Candace. It's a higher density than... Alpha Blend by Beltress. This is definitely higher. We, we do have a medium to high density here. Personally, it does not bother me. I don't think it's unmanageable. We have HD fibers. I do not know how the HD fibers last on Tressalore because this is really, I've had two Tressalores in the past and they didn't fit me. Uh, one was New Wave. It was okay. I honestly don't remember about the fit too much because I think that was last year that I reviewed it and I didn't care for the style on me, so I sold it. And then the, I did have one that I can't remember the style and that one was really tight on me. So I was kind of concerned about this one, but I thought, well, you know, I'll get it and I'll try it. Ladies, this has a large cap, almost. I have a 21.75 circumference. I had to cinch it in probably about a quarter of an inch on each, on each side. Then, as you know, I have bio hair, which is thick and it's probably shoulder length. And I've got that wrapped up and I had to put on my wig cap, my wig grip in order for it to not, to not move. If you have a, I would say a 22 and a half, I don't think that you'll have any problems with this particular style. And unless I unless I have a fluke, but for the most part, I think this has um, a, a nice large cap or a, on the larger side of average is really what I should be saying. You could add heat to it up to 350 degrees. And according to Tress Allure, you're not going to have any problem if you want to add curls 
or if you want to really straighten it back out, according to them, you're not going to have any issues. We have a fringe of 11 inches. My face from hairline to chin is seven and three quarters. So there is that fringe, which is uh, 11 inches. Our crown is 14 and a half. The nape is 10 inches and the weight is 5.29. Now I did wear this yesterday when I was taking the pictures and I was sending a video to my daughters to see what they thought and they're like I got my mom back uh, I did not I don't feel it it doesn't bother me but wigs usually they don't bother me uh, yeah you know, I could wear a wig for eight or ten hours and I'm fine with it because it is a higher density it is a little bit more difficult to tuck in the back you know tuck behind the ears you can pull one of these numbers and do it that way but it's definitely not an easy tuck because of the density. We do have a, you know, if you go to make a ponytail, you're going to have a thick ponytail back there. We have a lot of nice movement. Let me know what you think. I, I wanna know. Uh, if you want to wear it with a headband, you can do that. And you could wear it with any headband really that you want, even though, because we don't have a lot of permatease up here. I didn't know if it had permatease. I didn't know anything. You know, I, I had no clue about this because it, it just released a lot of times when there are new releases, I mean, if it's sent to me or if I buy it, because as this one, because I wanted to review it for you, I really have no clue, um, you know, how the style is. It has such a beautiful lace front that if you want to tie it back, you could do that as well. All right, let's take a walk outside so you could see this amazing color 1B slash burgundy out in the daylight, and then I'll come back. have a temple to temple lace front. We have a full monofilament top. I will, I do want to say that if you have sensitivity on your scalp, I do want to point out that this lace front feels a little bit um, scratchier to me. It doesn't bother me at all. I do not have a sensitive scalp. It doesn't bother me on my forehead. I could wear wear it for hours and it doesn't bother me at all. But I do want to point it out in case you do. We have an extended nape with Velcro adjusters. And if you can see the, how much I cinched it in. And I'm still wearing a wig cap and I'm wearing a wig grip. We have lots of stretch still, even though I tucked it in that much. Thank you everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye.